Hey YouTube, matches eight six zero. Smoking is Savinelli Church Warden with Haunted Bookshop, which is the subject of today's video. I talked about uh, Haunted Bookshop probably about a year ago. And uh, I got a lot of comments on that video, even uh, recently. And uh, about a week ago, uh, Briar Tim and Georgia Briar Man did a video where Briar Tim asked if I'd uh, give my thoughts again on Haunted Bookshop. Glad to do it. I'm going to put the link to Briar Tim and Georgia Briar Man down in the bucket. Sub the brothers. Great guys. Anyway, uh, in case you didn't know it, a haunted bookshop from Cornell and Deal is a burly, bla burly based blend made up of uh, predominantly burly leaf, white burly leaf. Uh, Virginia and Paris. The blender was uh, Bob Ranowski, who's no longer with us. But uh, he hit the nail right on the head with this, as far as the proportions go. And I guess I got my start with Burley's buying uh, drugstore tobaccos. Carter Hall, Sir Walter Raleigh, Granger, a bunch of those. And uh, those tobaccos all have a a casing on the burly leaf because burly in and of itself is very bland compared to uh, other tobacco leaves. I sort of uh, like to draw an analogy to oatmeal. I don't know if anybody has uh, plain oatmeal anymore, but that's pretty much what I grew up on. It's very bland. And uh, it doesn't do much for you unless you add some other ingredients to it. It's the same with burley. Um, if you don't case the burley leaf, You could still smoke it the way it is, but uh, it's very one-dimensional. So you want to put in uh, other ingredients, which is what they did with the uh, Haunted Bookshop. And I did a lot of searching around before I settled in on this. I've left it several times and have never uh, found as satisfying a smoke. The only exception being, of course, 
um, Old Joe Krantz, which is really the, I guess you'd call it the brother blend to Haunted Bookshop. And it's basically the same ingredients, uh, except there's dark burly, uh, as well as the white. Just different proportions of the Perique and the uh, Virginia. Of the two, I've always considered Haunted Bookshop the milder of the two. But if you smoke them side by side, you really understand uh, the relationship. Of course, uh, Big and Burly is another one where they added uh, a lot of Kia. As much as I like it, um, I don't uh, prefer a lot of key all day long. And another similar uh, is um, Gentleman Callers. Uh, which has deer tongue in it. That's a great blend as well, but I tire of the uh, flavor of the deer tongue after a while. The downside of Haunted Bookshot for me is um, there is a quite a nicotine hit to it, which can overwhelm you at times. But um, like everything else, you learn not to smoke it too fast and to put it down when you start to get the uh, heebie-jeebies. And as I say, um, I've gone out looking for other blends that I could smoke all day long. And I just haven't come across anything. Um, part of the reason for that is I need to be able to get it in bulk because I go through a fair amount of tobacco in a month. And anything that's only available in a tin is out of the question. And of course there are uh, price restrictions as well. Which is one of the reasons that I don't smoke uh, Riverboat Gambler, which is another fantastic blend from Cornell and Deal. If you like old Joe Krantz and Haunted Bookshop, you'd love Riverboat Gambler, but it is more expensive, I think because of the Turkish leaf that they put into it. And also the nicotine content is unbelievable. I was on the floor the first time I smoked that stuff. So. Haunted Bookshop, little bit of uh, nutty burly flavor, nice balance of uh, sweet Virginia leaf, and a little peppery taste of Perique. I might add that uh, I've also grown to love Perique. And anything I smoke that doesn't have curry in it leaves me uh, looking for something more.
So, that's my little chat on Haunted Bookshop today. Thanks an awful lot for watching, and have a great rest of the weekend.